Hello and a very warm welcome to our daily service. Our theme today is humility and we're going to begin with some words from the prophet Isaiah. God says, these are the ones I look on with favour, those who are humble and contrite in spirit and who tremble at my word. Loving Father, please forgive us for our pride and by your Holy Spirit, give us humble hearts that submit ourselves to you and obediently listen to your word. For your name's sake. Amen. We've asked God to help us to be those who tremble at his word. And now we're going to say a prayer of thanksgiving for the great gift of that word to all of us. Let's say these words together. Blessed are you, Lord our God. How sweet are your words to the taste, sweeter than honey to the mouth. How precious are your commands for our life, more than the finest gold in our hands. How marvellous is your will for the world, unending is your love for the nations. Our voices shall sing of your promises, and our lips declare your praise for ever and ever. Amen. We've been looking at Philippians chapter 2 and we've seen a very, very challenging standard. Yesterday, the instruction for Christian believers to be humble, to consider others better than ourselves. But the Bible never just gives us instructions and commands. It also points to the perfect model in the Lord Jesus Christ. We're going to read Philippians 2 verses 5 to 7. In your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus, who, being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness. Paul encourages us to have the same mindset as that of Christ. And that is a very different mindset to that which is natural to the sinful human heart. As we saw yesterday, our instinct is to think in terms of status and ranking. And our natural way is to try and go higher in the ranking system as much as possible. And as soon as we do that, we're inevitably competitive. Because there's only one way that I can go up, and that's if someone else comes down. And so the natural way is to big ourselves up and to put others down. The complete opposite of what the Lord Jesus did. He couldn't have started higher in very nature, God. And he couldn't have ended up lower as a servant. And as we'll see tomorrow, a servant who gave his life in the most humiliating way imaginable in his death on the cross. In the back of Paul's mind, possibly quoting an earlier statement of Christian belief or a Christian song, seems to be the terrible wicked behaviour of Adam. Adam is sinful humanity. He did what we all do by nature. Adam was merely human, but he wasn't satisfied with being just a man. Satan, do you remember, came in the garden and said, you'd be like God. Come on, if you eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you'll be like God. And so Adam was not content with being merely human. He strove to become like God, complete opposite of the Lord Jesus. Of course, the tragedy was that as Adam sought to become like God, he became not more than human, but somehow less human because sin always dehumanizes. By contrast, the Lord Jesus, who was in very nature God, did not make the most of that for his own advantage and didn't cling on to it, cling on to it, quite the opposite. He was prepared to give up some of the glory that was due to him by becoming human and by becoming a servant. As he himself said, Mark 10, verse 45, even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. 
So when we're tempted to big ourselves up, let's remember the Lord Jesus who took himself down and he did it in the service of others. And when we're tempted to put others down, let's remember the Lord Jesus who came low, very, very low, to lift others up. And when we're tempted to think, why should I go out of my way for that person after what she said to me or after what he did to me? It's the time to remember Jesus. Because he left all the glory of heaven and became a servant, not for people who deserved his service and his sacrifice, far from it. But for people like you and me, people like Adam, who rather than being content with merely human, want to take the place of God and strut around as if we're God and push God and his son Jesus out of our lives by nature. And yet still, he became a servant for us. What a perfect model. Morris Wood, Mor Morris Wood was a, a previous rector of St. Ebbs here in Oxford and then became principal of Oak Hill Theological College. And there was staff sicknesses, so they didn't have anyone who could clean the loos. And he put out a notice, would anyone be willing to join a rota? And very, very few people did. One morning a student got up early and to his surprise, he saw the principal with a mop cleaning the loos. That's Christ-like service. Humility, not trying to rise up in rank, but being willing to become low and to serve others just as the Lord Jesus became low for you and for me. It's a great example. May God give us the grace to follow it in our lives. Let's pray now. And we're going to begin by saying the Lord's Prayer. Together we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Now a prayer for those in need. Let's be quiet for a moment. Think of those we're particularly concerned for. Lord our Father, we pray for all who are troubled at this time. Bring healing to the sick. Strength to those who care for them. Relief to those in pain. Friendship to those who are alone. Reassurance to those in doubt or distress of mind. And comfort to those who mourn. May our love be so strong that seeing need we may never pass by on the other side. And in all things, may we follow the humble example of your Son as we serve others. We ask in Christ's name. Amen. And then together, one of the set prayers for this week. Lord Jesus Christ, you have taught us that what we do for the least of our brothers and sisters, we do also for you. Give us the will to be the servant of others, as you were the servant of all, and gave up your life and died for us, but are alive and reign now and for ever. Amen. Our song is a prayer. May the mind of Christ, my Saviour, live in me from day to day. Do join in.
A final blessing as we close. May the love of the Lord Jesus draw you to himself. May the power of the Lord Jesus strengthen you in his service. And may the joy of the Lord Jesus fill your hearts. And the blessing of God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and all those you love, both now and forevermore. Amen.